Let's do some subtraction now with no regrouping. That's another word for trading. Let's have a look at 14 minus 3. What does that look like? Well, we could think of that using place value models. That's 110 and 4 units. Now, we're subtracting. So that means we're going to be taking away. Now, what we could do if we had models, we could remove them or we could cross them out on our paper. So this time I'm taking away 3, so I'm going to cross out 3. But I'm also going to remove them to see what's left. Because we started with 14, but after we take away 3, we don't have as many. So we've actually now got one of the tens and one of the units. But did you know when we work down our page, we always write the units first. So let's do that again. One of the units and one of the tens. Now let's set one out down our page. Before we do that though, we will look at the place value models as well. And that means we need two of the tens and six of the units. That's the total that we're starting with. Let's put some place value headings here and then we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract five, but we want to start with 26. So let's have a look. We've got tens and units or ones. And you can see the models just at the top there. Now we're subtracting five. Now let's write our total in. We've got two tens and six units. And then we're subtracting five units. We're not subtracting any tens. So if you want, you could put a zero there. It doesn't change the value of that number. But if you think it would help you, write a zero in. Now what we want to do is take away or subtract five. Now we start always on the right hand side, the units place. And we've got six units minus or subtract five units. So if you look at your models, we could take five out. And that would mean there would be one left. Now what we do is we move left and look at the tens. Now we don't actually need to subtract any. So we had two at the start and we've still got two. It's like two minus zero, which is two. And you'll see I've actually removed the models of the units that we subtracted. And we've got two tens and one of the units left. Let's have a look. Two tens and one unit is 21. Now this time we've got larger numbers. Both our numbers have two digits. Remember we always start subtracting from the units place. Now let's write our numbers in. We've got 67, which is six tens and seven units, and we're subtracting 14, which is one ten and four units. So if we started our units place, oh, let's put our models in as well. Why not? We've got six tens and seven units. That's the total that we start with. And that's the number we always write at the top of our problem. Then we subtract. We're subtracting four of the units because remember, 14 is made up of one of the tens and four of the units. So seven units minus four or seven units take away four, one, two, three, four, means there are three units left. Then we work to the left and we go to our tens place. Now we've got six tens in total, but we need to take away one. So let's cross out one of those, six, take away one, and that leaves us with five of the tens. Now we can see that we've got 53 because there are five tens and three of the units. There they are, and that makes 53. So when you work it out down your page, you might still like to use the models to help you.